A very good evening for you to you tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chad Douglas. Our top story tonight, law enforcement from right here in the tri-states traveled to Ferguson, Missouri tonight. Members of the Rawls County Fraternal Order of Police delivered supplies to fellow law enforcement. Our very own Raja Maples is live in Ferguson now. Following that story, Raja, what's the scene look like currently? Good evening, Chad. I'm standing in a parking lot that is reserved for media in Ferguson. It's in a Target parking lot, and I'm about a mile away where from 18 year old Michael Brown was shot two weeks ago exactly today. Now things are pretty calm here throughout the city, but take a look at this. I have never seen so many law enforcement vehicles in my life in one place. We have St. Louis County Police. We have the Missouri Highway Patrol. We have the Missouri Fraternal Order of Police. We we have the Missouri National Guard. It's nothing like anything I have ever covered before. They are here tonight because of all of the unrest that's happened in the past two weeks. There is an emergency shelter owned and purchased by the Missouri Fraternal Order of Police that is dispatched to areas when in times of need, such as now, and the Rawls County Fraternal Order of Police delivered supplies to it tonight. I'll show you all about that emergency trailer and talk with local law enforcement about why they decided to help a little later in the show. Reporting live from Ferguson, I'm Raja Maples. Back to you. Just in case you're joining us tonight, we're on a little late because of football. KHBA's Raja Maples is live in Ferguson, Missouri tonight, and she's there with some folks from right here in the tri-states. Say, Raj. Chad, the Missouri Fraternal Order of Police purchased an emergency trailer about two years ago. It's only been dispatched twice, one for the Oklahoma, more Oklahoma tornadoes, and now it was brought here to Ferguson earlier this week. It offers a safe haven for police officers who are working 12-hour shifts. It offers a place to rest. You can shower, you can sleep, you can eat, and so forth. Well, members of the Rawls County Fraternal Order of Police delivered, delivered supplies to them tonight, and I spoke with a couple of FOP members about why this emergency trailer is so important. Well, this all originated with the uh, after the Joplin tornado. Uh, everybody was down there, and they saw that the Oklahoma FOP was serving hot meals to the guys about 24 7 started out a couple of meals a day and then with all the outreach of uh, donations they became 24 hours a day work so about around I think it was two years ago we bought this and uh, it's really been real fluid getting it all geared up and that, that's gonna be our mission if there's a, uh, a daz disaster natural disaster or something like this then uh, we'll deploy and set up and, and try to give the guys hot meals this could have happened anywhere in the state of Missouri this could have happened anywhere in the country and as a law enforcement officer we know that I mean, we, we don't know what's going to happen in each call that we go to, and this very well could have been us. We could have been that Darren Wilson, or we could have been that uh, officer in the department where this happened, or the town or community that it happened. I'm standing in a Target parking lot reserved for media in Ferguson, about a mile away from where the fatal shooting took place of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Things are very calm here tonight. I will check in with you a little bit later in the show, reporting live from Ferguson. I'm Raja Maples. Back to you. That's right, Chad. I'm standing live in a Target parking lot reserved for media. We have several satellite trucks, but it's pretty calm here tonight and things have died down. But you know what has not died down? Law enforcement. I've never seen so many law enforcement vehicles right across. There is uh, crime scene tape that you cannot cross. And so we have a little bit of uh, law enforcement from everywhere. St. Louis County, Missouri Highway Patrol, Missouri Fraternal Order of Police. And so um, I will have a complete wrap up of why I'm here because the Rawls County Fraternal order of police delivered supplies tomorrow night on KHQA News at 10 reporting live from Ferguson. I'm Raja Maples. Back to you.